Welcome to section 2, module 2. Today we're going to go over the law of supply, the supply curve, the supply schedule, changes in supply versus changes in quantity supplied, and the determinants of supply. Just as there is a demand schedule, there's also a supply schedule, which is just a table that shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity supplied holding all non-price determinants of supply constant. Um, so this, it works the exact, exactly the same way it works for demand. So you got, you know, um, here your individuals, in this case, however, it's not going to be individuals, they're going to be firms, uh, and they're going to tell you that they're willing uh, to supply, for example, three uh, lattes at one dollar, and um, this other firm is willing to supply two lattes at one dollar, and when you add both together, assuming the market in this case is just made of only two sellers, then uh, then the willingness of supply for the market at one dollar is going to be five units. And then we can see, uh, you know, the different uh, units uh, the market is willing to supply at different prices. And the supply curve is just a graphic representation of the supply schedule, and it also reflects the law of supply that it that it uh, states that when prices go up the quantity supplied goes up as well. Why? Because, you know, firms are just, they just want to increase revenue and they can increase revenue when they supply more at higher prices. And uh, let's say there is a change in price. So it goes, the, the, the change in price goes from $2 to $5. Um, that would cause a movement along the demand, the, the supply curve because we just change here, uh, it's just a change in a point of the supply schedule. So when it goes from $2 uh, dollars to $5, dollars, uh, it goes from 10 units to 25 units, uh, reflecting the law of supply. And that is why the supply curve has a positive relationship between the price and quantity. Uh, and let's take a look at what happens when there's a decrease in price. So when the, uh, there's a decrease in price, the quantity supplied is going to decrease. And, of course, you're going to have a, mo a, a movement along the supply curve. Now, whenever um, there's a factor that changes, that it's not price, there's going to be a shift in supply, just like it happens with the demand curve. We are going to take a look at those determinants in a moment, uh, but for, for right now, uh, this is just a review of what happens when you shift the curve. So when you shift the curve, uh, you're actually changing the supply schedule. So something changed that you're going to be willing to supply less or more uh, units at every given price, given price level. In this case, uh, something happened that Firms are less willing to supply, they're willing to supply less output at every given price level, shifting the supply curve left. And that is an important contrast because when prices change, you've got a, a movement along the supply curve, along the supply schedule. Because when prices change, you just go from a point to another point. Things that can shift the supply curve left uh, can be, you know, if technology becomes worse. In that case, if a machine cannot produce as much as before, uh, you're going, you, you'll have to buy more machines, increasing the cost of each output. So you're going to be willing to supply less output at every given price, keeping prices constant, of course, shifting the supply curve left. Um, if you have if the you know if the input prices increase, for example, if, for example, if you produce tables and suddenly the price of wood rises, um, you're going to be willing to supply less tables at every price level because it just becomes more expensive to produce tables, shifting the supply curve to the left. 
For example, let's say that you think that in the future, everyone is going to demand your product, so you're going to be willing to supply uh, less output at every price level right now because you better uh, supply it you, instead of supplying it right now, you better supply it in the future, uh, shifting the supply curve to the left. Now, let's say the number of producers uh, leave the market, then uh, you, the market will be producing less output at every price level because, you know, if you go from two producers to one producer, um, two producers, of course, produce way more output than one producer. Now, these exact same factors can also shift the supply curve left. For example, if technology improves, so in this case, you can actually produce more output at a lower cost, then you're going to be willing to supply more output at every price level, shifting the uh, supply curve to the right. And let's say that input prices decrease. So if you're producing tables and now the price of wood is it, it decreases and now it's very cheap to buy wood, you're going to be willing to provide more tables at every single price level, shifting the supply curve right. Uh, now, let's say that you think that in the future, people are going to be uh, buying less of your product. So right now, you want to supply more at every price level. That's going to uh, shift the, su the supply curve right, right now. Now, let's say that the number of producers increase. In that case, uh, in your market, you know, three people are going to be willing to supply more output at every price level than just one person. So that's why the supply curve shifts right. So guys, this is it. Um, I think this is going to be really helpful when we see changes in equilibrium and which is exactly what we're going to see in, in section two, module four.